We continue to track breaking news in Colorado Springs at this hour. A live look right now, an active scene. This is near Shelton and Palmer Park following a shooting tonight. Police say it happened in the 1400 block of Corita Drive. Now, we don't know yet what happened or what condition that victim is in, but someone was shot. No word yet on arrests or possible suspects. This is all developing right now as we get new information from police. We'll bring it to you. Well, impersonating a police officer, a very serious crime. And tonight, one Larkspur homeowner says a landscaper he hired to build a shooting range lied about his law enforcement background. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross. The homeowner you're about to meet says he hired Brad Dale, the owner of Dale & Son Landscaping, to build a shooting range on his property because of his law enforcement experience with the Denver Police Department. Turns out the Denver Police Department has no idea who Mr. Dale is, but the courts do because we uncovered he's been sued multiple times and owes money to several people. He had said he wanted payment 50% up front, followed by 25% at the halfway point and the last 25% at the completion point. Ted Collins says everything started out on the up and up. I had been looking for landscapers. I'd called multiple ones to try to get one in my area. He was the one that responded back to me and got out quickest. Brad Dale came out to survey the property, and Collins says he even asked if Dale had any experience with shooting ranges. He told me at that point that he is a former law enforcement officer for Denver PD. So I didn't, I wasn't suspicious at all. But after Collins says he paid Dale nearly $9,000 or 75% of the total cost of the project, he claims Dale tried to renegotiate the size of the range and then just stopped coming. Haven't seen him since. Last thing I heard from him is that he's not coming back out and he's keeping the money essentially. Seems odd for a fellow law enforcement officer to just disappear. So we checked with Denver police who confirmed that Human Resources does not have a record of a Brad Dale working for them. News 5 investigates also found multiple lawsuits and judgments against Dale. In some cases, court records show he owes tens of thousands of dollars. But circling back to Collins's case, he hadn't installed the drainage. He hadn't uh, sloped the berm correctly so that it could be grass seeded or that it was up to code. And um, he had left a bunch of dirt just piled up outside of a, a trench area over behind my, my buildings. In a final text message to Dale, Collins told him he was going to make sure he doesn't take advantage of anyone else. Dale responded with a gif of one of the Olsen twins, and that was the end of that conversation. This contractor had no remorse. Hopefully the, no, this doesn't happen to anybody else, because honestly, I could care less about getting my money back. I just don't want anybody else to have this happen to him because, I mean, it's stressful. Collins has filed a police report with the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. We did confirm the case number he provided us is assigned to an active fraud investigation. But in order to protect the integrity of that case, a sheriff spokesperson declined to comment. As for Mr. Dale's side of the story, we've made three attempts to talk with him on camera. He has not responded. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates. Boy, doing research on co contractors, so important. Eric, thank you. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office says if you've hired Dal and Son Landscaping for work that wasn't done, give them a call, and we'd also like to hear from you. As always, if you have a problem or issue you'd like Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross to look into, call our tip line 719-228-6275 or send an email to news5investigates at koaa.com.